Hi there, my name is Caleb Nation. You're probably watching this video because you subscribed to me on YouTube or because one of your friends sent it to you or posted it on their website. I'm 22 years old and I'm an author, and on October 10th of 2010, my second book, Brand Hammer Respector Key, is going to be in stores. I've been talking for months about my new book and my dream of being on the New York Times bestseller list, but I've never actually explained why you should read my book. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. When I was a wee little child, ne'er a day older than two. Actually, let's skip to whenever I was nine. When I was nine years old, my mom came to me one day and gave me this black spiral notebook and told me that as part of school, I had to start writing one page every Friday inside of this notebook as part of my creative writing. And I hated it. Don't make me write it, mom. She made me write it. So I did. After a few weeks of whining about writing these stories, suddenly something changed. I actually started to enjoy writing them. For lack of better ideas, my stories were about this particular character named King Caleb, who would go under the North Pole and meet with aliens. I loved it. Pretty soon, my mom had to put some new rules on how much time I was allowed to write. So I wrote a bunch of stories in this notebook about King Caleb or uh, my reversedly named alter ego, Bilak. Until one night when I was 14 years old on the third night of the third month of 2003, I had an idea. It was the image of a boy in a banker on a rooftop waiting for a burglar. And suddenly I had all these questions like, who are they and what does the burglar want? And what are they doing up on this silly roof so late? So I started writing down the answers. For about five years, I wrote those answers. It took another year for me to find an agent for that agent to find a publisher for it. I was actually in the middle of class in college whenever my agent called me and told me that I had gotten a book deal. And that's this book. It was published on September 9th of 2009, whenever I was 20. Who would have thought that this crazy idea I had whenever I was 14 would turn into a real book? Now I'm 22 and I finished the sequel, Bran Hendrick the Spectre Key. The story inside of my book is about a boy named Bran who was found locked in a bank vault at six years old with no memory of his past. Many years later, whenever he's 14, he discovers that he's got quite a sinister history hidden in those six years of lost memories. His mother was a magic criminal and now some people are hunting for Bran to finish this project she was working on. It's set in an alternate modern world a lot like ours, except it has magic. So while you get cell phones and car chases and explosions. At the same time, you get ghosts and creatures and gnomes. And then a strange girl who knows secrets about his past gives him a necklace just like this one. That's the first book. In the second book, Bran finds out even more about his past and the secrets of his mother's crimes. Bran discovers a safe deposit box left in his mother's name in the same bank vault where he was found many years earlier. And he also happens to visit someone's house, which happens to be underwater. Ever since I started writing, I've been working to be on the New York Times bestseller list. I can remember before I was even a teenager, I would go up to librarians and ask them to show me where the New York Times bestseller list was in the newspaper so that I could study it. Being on the bestseller list is kind of like the second part of my dream. So if you think you might enjoy a story like mine, you should go to brandhambrick.com slash preview and download free chapters of both books. And then if you like it, maybe you can go check it out at your local bookstore.